In this video, I'm going to talk about how to find out the length of day and the length of night once you have the data for the sunrise and sunset. And you already have obtained the data from your software Stellarium. And remember, here I'm using the Google time. Okay, this is the time if you just Google in, you'll get this time. Just Google in the sunrise time on this day and in Odessa, it will tell you this time. If you type in sunset, this will give you this time. Okay. And when you write down, just make sure that it's a.m. here and this is the p.m. here. Okay. And but but all the calculation you have to do it for the recorded time. Okay. As an example, I'm just using the Google time, but your calculation has to be for the recorded time, which is left blank here. Okay. So now you have to find the length of the day. How do you find the length of the day? The length of the day would be sunset time, which is this time minus the sunrise time. This would give you the length of the day. But there is a, a specific way of finding the length of the day when you use Excel. More or less, this command is called MOD and this time, the sunset time minus the sunrise time and one is the divisor and then hit enter. Again, just take a look at this command here and then enter. Once you have this, then just double click and then you get the length of the time for the entire year. Okay, this means on January 21st, the length of the day was 10 hours and 25 minutes. Okay, the longest day was on June 21st, which is 14 hours and 14 minutes. The same way you can find out the length of the night. How do you find the length of the night? The length of the night would be sunset time. This, this sunset time, this is the sunset time, minus the next day, of the sunrise this this sunset time is on 21st and then you have to take the sunrise time of the next day but here just to make life easier we are assuming the sunrise time does not change much okay so we're just keeping the same time here or you can do the 24 hour minus this time would give you the length of the night so more lush here I'm just taking this sunrise time minus sunset time so this gives me the length of the night click it here so now I have the length of the day and the length of the night and how do you find out the day and night difference in order to find the day and night difference what you're going to do just again use the command molar the length of the night minus the length of the day divided by one. This is the length of the night. So in this case, the night is greater. Okay, I'll just write down here for night greater. For this case here. So now. In this case, what you have noticed here, we have three hour and 10 minute difference. But here, on this case, it is a little bit odd because this is not in the 24 year, uh, hour format. So it is using, uh, it gives you 23 hour and 38 minutes. And in fact, it is only the um, 22 minute difference. So how do I find it out again? So it's using the more or less command just take a difference of this minus this and divide by one. So now the corrected, in order to find the corrected day and night difference, I'm just copy and pasting here and just use the values only. And then I'm going to copy and paste these two columns, these three columns, and paste it here and just use the values here. And for this one, I'm just going to select this 
so this is our the actual length uh, the correct day and night hour difference what do I see immediately here at this point I do see on this day it's a minimum the difference even on this one so it's just only the 22 minute difference a 20 minute difference that means on March 21st and October 21st the days and night are equal let's make a com remark comments here days and night are equal okay even here so now look at the June 21st what you see on the June 21st then June 21st you have the greater difference that means if you look here so it's the longest day this is the long also this is the longest day the longest day the same way you can find out what is the longest night okay so you can find out a lot of information from here and then make sure that when you write down your answer uh, you can answer from all this table now I'm going to show you how you're going to plot the sunrise time with the date and sunset time with the date in order to do that just copy the, the date here and paste uh, in the next let me paste it here this is my date and then again go using the Google time here this is for the sunrise and I'm pasting here and this is the sunrise time sun rise if you if you have to plot it just select these two columns go to insert and now we don't need this date here Copy, select this one and delete it so this is now my sunrise time the sun the plot of the sunrise with the with the year here okay at the same way we can select again select the the date paste it here and then now you can go to this sunset time copy this one and paste it here and this is your sunset okay so again select these two columns go to insert go to the scatter diagram and select this one you do not need this one so right click and delete oh I didn't delete it okay so this is the plot of the sunrise and this is the plot of the sunset and as you know that in your uh, the lab you have to plot this graph at, uh, I show you how to plot it when you plot it just make sure that uh, it is of the different colors okay it has to be the different colors and if you have any question just write down your question in the comment section below and do not forget to subscribe the channel thank you so much bye bye